The Bengals have brought in one of their former wide receiver greats, TJ Hushmanzada, to be a coaching intern as part of the Walsh Fellowship Program. He says it remains to be seen exactly how he can help this receiver group, but even with veterans in that position, he believes he can. I've talked to Sanu quite a bit. Um, Marvin's approached me, AJ. And, uh, you know, when guys have had success like those three have, they might not want your opinion. And so when they ask me, then I'll give it to them. But the other, the younger guys, I've talked to them quite a bit as well because I know how it is to be in their position. And if they don't realize it, they are fighting for a spot on the team and just kind of let them know, like, you got to, you can't make the same mistakes that AJ and those other guys are making because they're proving and you're not. And just kind of letting them know basically what's at stake. The more I'm here, the more comfortable they'll get with me, the more comfortable they'll feel asking me questions because I, I really think I can help them, but that, that's going to take time. Hushman Zada says veteran receivers may not want his help, but that's certainly not the case according to the players. Oh, yeah, you definitely do. Uh, even though your, your coach is your coach and you listen to what he has to say, but when it's coming from a, you know, a guy that you have looked up to or a guy that played in the league for a long time, you're going you're to be all ears. And you're going to be on your P's and Q's. You're going to hang on everywhere he says, and that's what guys are doing. I'm just, just getting some of his knowledge. Like I said, he's been in his league a long time, uh, had 112 catches, 120 catches a season. So I'm um, just trying to pick his brain a little bit, uh, how he ran certain routes and what he's seen and how he approached this and little stuff. So it's always good when we have a guy like him in the receiver room that can come in and kind of say, hey, guys, you know, this is the way that I figured out how to make plays work. This is, you know, the coach is asking for this for me on a route. Uh, this is how I got it done. And so it kind of gives them another perspective of just instead of just always learning from a coach, uh, which is really what some of these younger receivers have only had, um, you know, they get a veteran guy who played the game for a long time and achieved at a really high level. This opportunity has Hushman Zada reminiscing on his playing days. And for someone who played alongside receivers like Chad Johnson and Terrell Owens, it's no surprise what TJ says is one of the biggest differences he's noticed with this team. I miss the competition, really. I, I, I think that's more so than anything else. I just miss the competition, the me versus you, you know. And the guys here are kind of quiet, you know. It, it, <laughs> like, they went one-on-ones today, and it's a little different because you're not allowed to really go one-on-ones. Off coverage, a lot of shadow type of stuff. Don't really touch the guy. And uh, I miss the competition. That's probably what I miss the most is, you know, was it Kirkpatrick? I think him and Pac-Man were probably the loudest corners out there. And just to be able to go against them, I think would have been fun. Quiet or not, Hushman Zada has been impressed with the Bengals players so far and made it a point to acknowledge the young talent they have that he believes shows they'll have continued success for years to come. For CN2, I'm Casey Cust.